Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about how to model a complex shape in Maya 2017 part 13. Stay tuned. Before that, if you won't subscribe to this YouTube channel, click on this red color subscribe button to subscribe this YouTube channel. We post weekly free videos about Maya 2017, Arnold, modeling, texturing and lighting. So if you won't subscribe, okay. In this part, we learned about how to model a perfect computer mouse with perfect topology. And before you start an organic model like character, Computer mouse is the real example to practice and patch modeling techniques. Okay, let's get started. So before we start our modeling, we need to draw and reference code. Go to top view. Go to create panel, node scrolls, disable the interactive creation. That means when we click on node circle, it will automatically create a center of grid. View scale x, y, z to 4. And right click. Sorry, press R and scale in Z like this. Right click and choose control vertex. Select this three control vertex and scale in Z to make it straight line and also in X. So you need to add two more control points over here. Right click and choose four point, add one four points over here, shift and add another points over here go to curves and choose insert knot so that means two con two more control points add over here so select this two control vertex and move in C to make this line straight as possible select all this control points and press R and scale a bit like this now go to perspective right click and choose object mode the object selected you need to make an another duplicate press ctrl d to duplicate go to right side view i want to move in y right click and choose ctrl vertex select this mid ctrl vertex and move in y so select this one and move like this So go to perspective now you got the shape like this go to top view go and check it will be perfect or not it's okay now go to right side view again now you need to draw and profile shape using cv code tool go to create panel code tools and choose cv code tool option box and choose three cubic and close the tool settings here you need to draw and shape here you need to maintain little bit and sharp shape so that means you need to add three more points over here so you need to end up on here and press enter if you want to adjust the shape right click and choose control vertex and you need to adjust the shape like this now see here here you need to maintain a three control points to maintain the sharp edge sharp points so like this now right click and choose object mode go to perspective and check it will be okay or not it's too high so I will select this curve press R and scale in Y to make little bit smaller so like this okay so now it's perfect go to right side view and press w i want to move in one to align it to this curve right click and choose control vertex i need to adjust like this now right click and choose object mode now go to perspective so now we got an reference code to model our computer mouse now go to create panel 
polygon primitives and disable the interactive creation that means when you click on polyplane it will automatically create an instant drop grid i didn't want any subdivision for this one so i will give subdivision with the height to one and move this one exactly in front side and also in this side you need to maintain exactly this edge on center of grid because we need to model and one side and mirror on opposite side so select this edge and move like this go to right side view i need to keep on here go to perspective so select this edge i want to move a little bit further like this now you need to extrude again shift right click and choose extrude go to top view and press w you need to trace out the shape shift right click and choose extrude and press w shift right click and choose extrude and press w extrude again press w i want to move along the side extrude edge extrude so go to perspective see here here you need to maintain even number of distance so don't extrude like this so if you extrude like this so see here don't extrude like this you need to maintain even number of distance between each and every edge so i will undo this one so i will maintain in the even distance go to top view you need to trace the curve extrude the edge again you need to keep on here extrude edge and extrude edge so when you reaching the center point hold the x in keyboard and move in x so that means it automatically snap to our grid points and also move in z now go to perspective now you able to see we will make a patch like this using polyplane extrude so now i want to change this curve color to see it clearly so i will select this curve and go to attribute center in no circle shape you need to expand the object display and also expand the drawing override and click on this enable drawing override sorry enable override here we have a color option you need to change whatever you whatever color you want i will change the color as yellow to see it clearly so now you able to see our curve color will be changed as yellow so now i want to adjust this vertex to contact this curve too so i will select this one i need to adjust like this okay now you got the patch like this now we need to do same thing on the side so select this edge go to front view sorry go to right side view shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w i want to keep on here and shift right click and choose extrude keep on very close edge over here because we need to maintain sharp edge extrude edge we need to keep on here so go to perspective so i will select the three vertex i want to move little bit in z so like this 
now select this edge and need to extrude go to right side view shift right click and choose extrude edge we need to extrude like this extrude edge So now go to perspective. So select this both edge, shift right click and choose bridge. So now right click and choose object mode. So now you brought a basic shape over here. Okay, select this object. So now you need to select this edge, shift select this edge, shift right click and choose bridge add one division so select this edge and press w you need to make this shape round as possible so like this so see here here you need to maintain a sharp edge so i will select this one and go on very close so do same thing over here and add one more divisions insert edge loop over here insert edge loop and press w i want to move in c so here you need to extrude this thing so shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w i want to move in Y and also in Z. So like this. Select this two vertex and choose merge vertex to center. So do same thing over here. So select this edge. Shift right click and choose extrude and press W. I want to move in Y and also in Z. So like this select this both vertex and choose merge vertex to center so because here you need to maintain a sharp edge so we will make like this so do same thing over here select this edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w i want to move in y and also in z to maintain this sharp edge right click and choose vertex select this both vertex and choose merge vertex to center now you got the shape like this so if you have any adjustments use vertex to adjust the shape like this now when you press 3 in keyboard so it will maintaining the sharp edge over here because we have a close edge to this corner so now I will add one more edge loop on here and press W and move on the side so now select this edge and shift double click on this edge to select right click and choose object mode click on this isolate select to view our object clearly so select this over edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w i want to move in y and also in x so now right click and choose vertex mode select this both vertex and choose move vertex to center so now if you have any adjustments you need to adjust select this one and choose merge merge vertex tool and choose target well tool you need to click and drag over here and select this one and move in y and also in x 
connect this one on the 88 and also 81. Go like this. Now double click on this edge. Now shift right click and choose fill hole. So the hole will be closed. Here you need to add more division to connect this one. So I will use multi cut tool. So use click on click on here and click on here and right click. Add one more thing. So I will move on the side. So add multi cut tool again click on here click on here and end up with here and right click and select this edge and move a little bit in x so i will select this vertex and move in y and also in z now add a multi cut tool you need to end up here and right click Right click and choose vertex and select this vertex and move in X and also in Y. So to make it and round shape like this. So select this all thing and I want to move a little bit like this. So go to right side view, I want to move a little bit in Y and also in X. So select this points and also move in Y a little bit. Go to perspective, so now you got a sharp shape over here. So I will select this one and move on the side. Select this one and move a little bit like this. Right click and choose object mode. Select this vertex. I want to move a little bit like this and also in X. Now you need to connect this edge using multi cut tool. Now right click and choose vertex mode, select this vertex and adjust like this. So see here, here we have an, another one edge. So I will select this vertex and move on the side and also like this. Add one more edge loop. Add insert edge loop over here and press W. I will move on the side to make a round shape. Now right click and choose for text mode. You need to adjust this points. So I will adjust this points. This one using multi cut tool, so you need to connect and end up here. So, if you have any adjustments, so in batch modeling, you need to adjust a lot of things to got a perfect shape. So, like this, I need to adjust a little bit. Click 
potential subject more so now you need to use multi-factor array and right click select this vertex and select this vertex and move in y so select this one and also just like this so now we need to connect this edge over here so select this multi cut tool sorry select this insert edge loop tool and exactly in center and this W I want to move in Y to make a round shape like this and also you need to add two more edge loop so add one more edge loop here and plus w i want to move in y little bit add one more edge loop exactly here and plus w i want to move in y so to make a round shape so I will double click on this edge to select the entire edge loop. So right click and choose vertex. So I will select this all vertex over here. I will deselect this one. So I will select all this vertex over here and move on the side to maintain an even distance between all edges like this now I double click on this edge and move a little bit in X and also move a little bit in Z I double click on this edge and move a little bit like this Move a little bit like this and also in Z. So now you are able to connect this edge to end our shape. Multi cut tool and connect over here. So I want to move this edge. So I will double click on this edge. So select this edge. And move a little bit like this to connect this straight edge. So don't move this edge because we need to maintain a sharp edge over here. Now use multi cut tool to connect this one. So now you got all parts. If you have any problem, use the text to adjust the shape. I will select this one and move in Y. Right click and choose object mode and press 3 in keyboard to smooth our object. So see here. Now you got a shape. So see here, here we have some troubles. I will press one in keyboard and adjust the shape to make a smooth corners over here. Right click and choose object mode. So now we need to do same thing on back side so before that we need to clear this one right click and choose vertex and select this one and move a little bit like this right click and choose object mode and press 3 in keyboard so now it's perfect so it has some troubles on this edge I will move a little bit in front 
tightly clenches object mode now we have an perfect shape we need to do same thing on back side press on in keyboard to unsmooth our object double click on the sage shift right click and choose fill hole and here you need to connect exactly over here using multi cut tool you need to connect over here here you, we have one two three four five six eight so i will select this one to connect end up with here and right click now select this vertex and select move in y to make a round shape like this so add another one over here use multi cut tool to connect this one and end up with here and right click and select this vertex and do in y and also in x to make a round shape So now you need to connect this one using multi cut tool. So end up here and right click and select this edge and move in Y and also in X to make a round shape. So here we need one more division to connect this edge. So before that we need to close this one using multi cut tool you need to end up with here and select this edge and go in X and also in Y like this right click and choose vertex mode select this vertex and adjust like this add one more edge loop on here and press or add scale and get bold so select this edge and press W you need to adjust to make a round shape so do same thing over here adjust little bit like this to make a round shape now you need to use multi cut tool to connect this one and right click if you want to adjust this one select this vertex and move a little bit in Z so now we need to connect this one so that means you need to add one more edge loop over here and press W and also move a little bit in Z so select this one and move a little bit like this select this vertex and move a little bit in Z so now you are able to connect this one using insert edge loop add one more edge over here and press W I want to move in X now use multi cut tool shift right click and choose multi cut tool you need to connect this one and right click now you use multi cut tool to connect the shape if you have any adjustments right click and choose vertex mode so select this vertex and do in x and also in y so select this vertex and also move in z and also in y so to make an perfect shape you need to angle orbit around all the angles to see it 
perfect or not so now you need to add one more page loop over here and press W and move to the X now use multi cut tool to connect this gap and press enter so do same thing over here so use multi cut tool to connect if you have any adjustment use and vertex and adjust like this this so now you need to connect this one so select this edge and move on here like this so here you need to add two more edges so add one over here And select this edge and shift right click and choose delete edge and select this three edge and press W I want to move in Y and also in X so now you need to add one more edge over here and one more insert edge loop and press W and move in Y to make a round shape so now use multi cut tool to end the shape so do same thing over here so see here here we have some problem so right click and choose vertex mode, select this vertex and move in X, select this one and move in X, okay, so now you need to connect the shape using multi cut tool so click on here you need to end up with here and right click and also see here here we have an add one more edge loop so select this edge and you need to a little bit in X and Z so now right click and choose vertex mode you need to select this vertex you need to adjust the shape select this one so I will select this three vertex and press double key I want to move in Z to make a round shape So now you need to use multi cut tool to end the shape over here. So here we have a triangle 
you need to clear this triangle you need to cut like this now you've got an 1 2 3 and 4 h so all quads so now here you need to make lot of adjustment so I will pause my video and come back again because we need to keep this shape until you got an perfect roundness so I will keep the shape and come back again okay so now I have complete my model so now press 3 in keyboard so I will complete my adjustments so if you have any troubles in your model use sculpt geometry tool to adjust that one go to mesh tools and choose sculpt tools here you need to choose and relax tool option box and so relax tool option box here you need to increase or decrease the brush size so you will able to increase or decrease the brush size and also you need to view strength to 20% and close the settings if you want to increase the brush size hold B key and you use middle mouse button and click and drag to increase the brush size now if you have any troubles use relax tool to relax the mesh so over here so after that press W so now your model is nice and clean so now press 1 in keyboard now you need to check it will be perfect or not using and duplicate go to top view hold D plus X in keyboard use middle mouse button and click and drag to, to snap your pivot exactly in center of grid in the object selected press ctrl D to duplicate and view scale X to minus 1 that means you got and duplicate select this both object and press 3 in keyboard so now you check if you have any troubles so now if you have any troubles you need to adjust using vertex so select this both object right click and choose combine shift right click and choose combine so now I want to adjust my center region so select this both vertex on center and move in Y so select this both and move in Y so after you complete your adjustment select this object and go to mesh and choose separate and delete this one now we need to add and close edge loop over here so we need to add very close edge loop on here now right click and choose object mode in the object selected go to mesh and choose smooth option box here you need to choose linearly and click on smooth so now right click and choose object mode so double click on this edge shift double click on this edge shift right click and choose delete edge now right click and choose vertex mode go to top view and select this vertex and press R and scale in X to make it straight and press W hold X in keyboard and move in X so it will automatically snap to our grid points do same thing on bottom side go to front view select the bottom vertex press R in keyboard and scale in Y and press W and hold X in keyboard and move in Y to make it straight go to perspective so now we need to make an cuts so add cut over here so add insert edge loop over here sorry first of all you need to add edge loop over here so very close and right click and choose face move select the space and shift double click on the space to select entire loop and press delete in keyboard so now you need to add one more edge loop to here and right click and choose face move select the space and shift double click on the space and press delete in keyboard now right click and choose object move 
so now you've got a shape like this now we need to make an mouse wheel over here so create an poly cylinder and move on here and go to shading and choose wireframe on shader that means you able to see your wireframe without any selection press R and scale in Y and also press E and rotate Z to minus 90 and press R and scale in mid and also a little bit like this and press W I want to keep on here so now you need to <coughs> so check this out so it will be perfect or not so I will keep on here like this so I will keep inside a little bit so now press R and scale a little bit big and scale a little bit in X so I will give subdivision for this one is 35 and double click on the edge, shift double click on the edge, shift right click and choose bevel edge and give segments to 2 or 3, right click and choose object mode in the object selector go to mesh, mesh display and choose soften edge. So now we need to make cut for this one, shift right click and choose multi cut tools here you need to cut here 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 and end up with here and right click go here and end up with here and right click now click on here and click on here right click click on here and click on here right click now right click and choose for text mode select this for text and go to modeling toolkit here you need to choose transform constraint to edge slide and move this vertex to this line over here like this do same thing on here to make a very close edge like this so select this one and move on here do same thing, select this one and move like this, select this one and move like this. Now right click and choose face move, select this face and press delete. Now right click and choose object move. Go to top view, hold the D plus X in keyboard and keep exactly in center of the keep the pivot. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate. So before that I will go to post for queue. Before you take duplicate, I will delete my duplicate. Here you need to add and cut. So it's really important. So add and multi cut tool very close to this edge. So like this. So do same thing on the side. And right click. So do same thing on here. to end up with this and press right click now select this face up to here and press delete in keyboard do same thing over here select this face and shift double click on this face and press delete in keyboard now right click and choose object mode go to top view hold D and X in keyboard to change your pivot exactly in center of grid in the object selected press ctrl D to duplicate and use scale X to minus 1 now go to scale X to minus 1 and go to post for queue so now select this object and shift select this object shift right click and choose combine 
and right click and choose vertex go to top view and select all the center vertex over here go to post view shift right click and choose merge vertices and choose merge vertex and right click and choose object mode so now select this object and go to mesh and choose separate now we got an each and every piece will be separated now we need to do something select this object and click on isolate select double click on this edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and extrude little bit in z and shift right click and choose extrude edge and press over and scale down so go to modeling toolkit and i will turn off my transform constraint and scale in mode right click and choose object mode add one more edge loop very close to this edge now press w right click and choose object mode now press 3 in keyboard so it will maintain this short edge go to shading and disable the wireframe mode shader so do same thing for all other object before that I select this object and press 1 in keyboard double click on this edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press R and scale down shift right click and choose extrude edge and extrude little bit in Z shift right click and choose extrude edge and press W and move in Z and one more edge over here double click on this edge shift right click and choose bevel edge and move fraction amount when you can do 0.05 and do segments to 2 right click and choose object mode in the object selected press 3 in keyboard so now it's perfect so if you want to maintain in short edge add one more edge loop over here now press W right click and choose object mode now press 3 in keyboard so now it's maintaining the short edge so see here here we have some problems so double click on this edge I will move on this side and move in Y like this right click and choose object mode and press 3 in keyboard so now it's perfect so I will re-isolate this one so I will delete this side so after we complete this side we need to mirror on opposite side so I will select this one and delete select this object and click on isolate select now shift right, right click and choose edge mode double click on this edge shift right click and choose extrude we need to extrude in Z now when you press 3 in keyboard so I will re-isolate this one so see here it will losing this short edge we need to fix this one so click on this object and click on isolate select now press 1 in keyboard so select this edge now press 3 to smooth our object to maintain this short edge in the edge selected shift right click and choose crease tool use middle mouse button and click and drag to maintain our short edge do same thing on all corners so select this edge use middle mouse button and click and drag using crease tool so we need to stop sharpen this edge now click on this isolate select again now it will be maintaining the short edge you need to do same thing you need to mirror on opposite side so select this object press ctrl D to duplicate and do scale X to minus 1 so it will mirror on opposite side so do same thing for this object in the object selected click on isolate select add and thickness so double click on this edge shift right click and choose extrude edge you need to extrude in Z to maintain this edge sharpness when you press 3 in keyboard it will losing the sharpness when you maintaining this sharpness select the edge shift right click and choose crease tool use middle mouse button and click and drag 
do same thing over this side select this one use my mouse button and click on drag right click and choose all smooth press one name keyboard add one more edge loop very close to this edge and also here now right click and choose object mode press three in keyboard it will be perfect so now we complete our model finally we need to do this one on here okay select this object and click on isolate select press one in keyboard so select this edge press three in keyboard use shift right click and choose crease tool use middle mouse button and click and drag to sharpen this edge do same thing over here select this one and use middle mouse button and click and drag so i will click on isolate select so i will delete this object again and select this object and press ctrl d to duplicate and give scale x to minus one now it's maintaining the sharp edge so now we complete our model but we need to make an hole over here because we need to make a wire slot go to polygon and click on poly 5 and move over here I before that I will delete this face so select this face press on in keyboard to unsmooth this object so select this face shift right click and choose extrude face and press R and scale in mid and press delete in keyboard to delete the face in the poly pipe selected go to subdivision axis to 8 and U thickness to 0 0.4 0 0.4 it's enough and press R and scale in mid and press E and rotate X to 90 I didn't want any back face so select the back face and press delete in keyboard right click and choose object mode in the object selected go to modify and choose center fiber and press W I want to move in X and also in Y so I want to <coughs> double click on move tool settings and give axis orientation to old like this and press or and scale in mid to scale this one like this go to top view press 4 in keyboard I want to move this object little bit inside go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard select this both object shift right click and choose combine double click on the sage shift double click on the sage shift right click and choose bridge and I didn't want the sage double click on the sage shift right click and choose delete edge double click on the sage shift right click and choose extrude edge and press W I want to move in Z double click on the sage shift right click and choose bevel edge and give fraction to 0 0.1 and segments to 2 right click and choose object mode in the object selected press 3 in keyboard to smooth our object so now we complete our model we need to add wires so before that i will increase my hole size little bit big so i will select this both three edges press R and scale little bit big and double click on this edge and scale little bit big right click and choose object mode so now we need to draw a wire shape before that go to window and choose outliner here I will select my three curves and add to a layer and hide the visibility to turn off so now create a polyplane and press R and scale big like this and do subdivision with then height to 1 go to top view now we need to draw and curve go to 
create curtain and choose CV curtain option box. Here I need to choose and three cubic and close the settings and press four in keyboard. Now you able to see where to draw. So I will draw from here. So press enter to stop the tool. Go to perspective, right click and choose control vertex. Press five in keyboard. Select this control vertex and shift select this control vertex and move in Y. So like this and also in X. So select this one and move a little bit like this. Now create another nerve circle. Go to pose and click on nerve circle. It will automatically create the center of grid. I will move on here. So select the curve, select the nerve circle and shift select the curve. Go to surface and choose extrude option box. I will reset my settings. Here you need to choose cube, add path, component and profile normal as a nerves and click extrude. So select the nerve circle and press R and scale down. So now you are able to see our wire will be scaled down so like this okay that's the end of our modeling a computer mouse in Maya 2017 with perfect topology this is really helpful to start an organic model like character if you like this video give thumbs up button below this video if you have any doubts about this video or any suggestion about this video give comments below the comment box i hope you like it i see you on next project click subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we always need your support to create high quality content further so click here to also watch the tutorial of how to model a complex shape in maya 2017 part 12